Good morning, morning from the high seas. It's beautiful out there. Mm -hmm. Very smooth still. <laughs> Lots uh, of more to come. <laughs> it's true. We got five sea days in a row. Yeah. Let's get ready to kick them off. I don't know what we do. We're just going to go eat some breakfast and see what happens. For now, yeah. There's cool stuff going on. Lots of cool stuff. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Good morning, Sensei. Welcome to the buffet. I think we're gonna get our food from this middle section, which has more selection. Oh, that's the whole fish <laughs> options. Nice. This is kind of the Asian corner. Hash browns, corn beef, tomatoes, potatoes, mushrooms, beans, all sorts of juices and smoothies. Oh, salads, hummus. There's your mueslis. Oh, we have tapioca pudding options. Awesome. Breakfast success. Now, I'm trying to get the award for weirdest breakfast. I got like Asian beef, some Indian, some mushrooms, eggs, peaches, cottage cheese, figs, and muesli. It's a whole array of weirdness. Well, let's take a field trip in an afterwardly direction today. Ah, there is a whole pool back here. Forgot about that. You get a nice little wake view. Nice out here it is nice out here. A little bar back here called the Outrigger. Closed right now because, you know, it's the morning. Mm -hmm. They could be doing mimosas and Bloody Marys. <laughs> well, now we will just hang out here and have some fresh air and wake views. Why not? We can watch the, the wave pool go off down here. <laughs> Yeah, we've got a gentle bibble bobble going on this morning, which is making things go a little bit side to side. No, we stayed out there for like an hour and a half. All right, we're going to motivate to another area of the pool deck now. Out here at Neptune's pool, they are having the boat building competition finals. We're going to go one above the pool deck to try to get a good angle. So this is the sun deck. Now look, the weather out here could not be much better. We found a little umbrella to hang out for now. <laughs> Dee is soaking up the sun though. It's so nice. This is the perfect weather for a cruise. Ah. Oh, here comes the boat parade. Ooh. Some of them look good for utility purposes. Some of them are nicely decorated. Look at that, people. How fantastic and well elaborated. Look at that. Wow. Time for the float test. Oh yeah, the pool might not be helping. Oh, the added obstacle is the boat has to hold six cans of Coke. Wow. Oh, you gotta go both ways. Issues. Let's lay them flat, yes. Oh, oh no. That one looks pretty sturdy. Let's see how it goes. Oh, a man down. Yeah, the box on top might help. They are sealing that box shut. Wait a minute now. Uh -oh. They're safe and sound inside. Oh, this one is built on a clear backpack and they're putting the soda inside the backpack. This one already has some soda cans on it. Look at that. He's sparkling. Wilson's sparkling. He's exploring. Uh, food journey. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Wilson is sparkling steward. All right. That was the last one. Now we get an audience vote for a winner. It's about 12.30. I think we're going to seek out some lunch. I think that lunch will come in the form of pizza today. Well, while we're here, we can check out the premium desserts menu. Ooh. Cheese and pepperoni and cheese and pepperoni. Back inside. 
Hello, Club Fusion. Well, apparently they're setting up for bingo, but first they have hula class. Oh, interesting. It looks like the hula class has been progressive and they are learning a routine maybe for a performance. We thought maybe it was just a drop-in thing like a line dance class. Oops. Well, we'll just hang out and watch the hula. I guess we'll try to catch the actual presentation when it happens. Well, we are going to head up here to Hearts and Minds. They are doing Princess Pop Choir. We have a Christmas version of Pop Choir that you would like to ask if you like to participate. Or oh, you have a regular one. Regular one is about having popular songs like Sweet Caroline or you know the sing along songs. Oh, what is happening? Help me. Welcome to Michelangelo. Next up on the agenda is the loyalty party. No handshakes, please. And we've got tunes going. Let's see if we can snag a seat. Well, we've got some beverages. Now we'll listen to some tunes. I'm so honored to be in your presence. It's really, truly a dream come true, and we're so grateful for your passion for Princess Cruises. Tonight, uh, we made this event to celebrate a very uh, special group of the individual, our Platinum and Elite member. With 2,842 days. That's a lot of days. 305 cruises. 305 cruises. Please welcome to stage. Mr. James Pack and Ms. Linda Lee. Thank you once again for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. The night is still young. There's so much going on around the ship. If you do not need to run away, please do stay here. Captain Castellano is going to remain on the stage with our ship's photographer. If you'd like to come down and take a picture, please do so. Enjoy the rest of your evening and thank you once again. Enjoy. Oh, we've come up to crooners to listen to some tunes. Princess Theater for Disco. Blame it on the boogie. So we are going to enjoy this and we obviously cannot bring it to you, but we'll see you after the show. Thank you so much. Mwah. Los quiero mucho. I love you. Boom. Pat her on the bed. Good night. Good night. We are going to bed. Yeah, we sleeping. Those oh, sea so days tired. wear you out. Now, I don't even know why. I'm just exhausted. That's true. I'm exhausted because I've been having to think about all day long how the pop choir is going to have to sing Sweet Caroline. And that just has, it's just bummed me out all day. Told him it's karma. He has to sing it. <laughs> Y'all, they chose five songs and one of them is Sweet Caroline. They gave him the option of Christmas in July, but everybody was like, boo. I voted for Rudolph I over thought it would be fun, Neil Diamond, okay? Anyway. <laughs> That's it. And you all saw pretty much everything else. Well, except the show. We couldn't record the show, but... Blame it on the boogie. Oh, yeah. We have seen it before. Yeah. This cast is really, really good. Mm. Their dance timing is really good. Everything is super in sync. The singing is great. Um, I think it, they said that this is their last performance yeah. on the ship. I was confused by that. Yeah, I So don't maybe, know. maybe they're signing off after this. I'm maybe. not sure. But they're a very good cast. All the colorfulness, all the disco-ness. Yeah, really oh, yeah. So let's go ahead and dig into dinner so we can go sleep. <laughs> Yes, please. We're tired. Hey, look, there's a shrimp cocktail for you. 
Shrimp cocktail is always good. Still don't understand why they put sauce on the tails that um, you have to pick up. It makes for a quite messy thing. Yeah. <laughs> Princess, put it on the side. Hashtag saucy tails. There you go. Yeah, I'll stop it. I had a crawfish volavant or whatever the words were. So now this was actually pretty good. It's a puff pastry shell. It's got crawfish. Nice little, I would call it a sauce. It's almost like a seafood bisque is the sauce. And everything about it was good. I would get that a million times. How about a salad for you? It's an endive, endive salad. I don't know how, I don't know how you either. say it with radishes, and then I have like balsamic on it. Their balsamic dressing is amazing on this mm. ship. So good, and I love radishes. So this was a winner for me. I do too. I say endive. It's an endive salad. <laughs> it's not that. That's not correct. I also had the fruit presentation, which was now lychee lychee. See, we don't know how to pronounce words. Well, um, say both. Then you're not wrong. Right? Watermelon, and it was had an infused syrup that I think involved star anise or anise. <laughs> Y'all, how come food has to have so many pronunciations? There was ginger in it. It was. It had candied ginger, which was a little spicy. This was stinking delicious, and I would probably order this every time. I did not know a bowl of fruit mm. could be so entertaining, <laughs> but I really enjoyed it. There is your duck dish. Duck with wild rice and some sort of alcoholic, I don't know. <laughs> alcoholic duck. <laughs> the gravy. <laughs> I forget what they called it. And um, then bok choy. It was very good. Other than the fact the duck was so hard to cut. And I think uh, it's because he gave me a butter knife. Yeah. Otherwise, it was really good and everything <laughs> was, you know, blended together. With the proper tools, well, it probably could have been okay. It's not easy. Oy. And I got the lobster tail and crab cake. Now, y'all, I got the crab cake because I knew I was sad at yesterday's crab cake just to see if it was different. Guess what? It was the same. He said they froze and we thought about <laughs> I don't know what they did, y'all. They are more cake than crab. I will say. So no, the crab cake, not my favorite. Now the um, lobster had a nice little sauce on it. They came and put butter on it. And the sauce in that bowl, mm -mm, I ate it all up. I even put it on a bread roll. I don't know what it was. I was either really hungry or I liked that sauce. So. A lot. Overall, cool. Just don't like the crab cake very much. Yeah. Now, ma'am, you ordered the volcano banana split from the kids menu and it was enormous. Yeah, so you guys know that you can order desserts off of the kids menu. There's no exception on Princess. You can, is that the right word? You can do yeah. that here as well. But be warned, this was huge. Yeah. I don't know if they made me an adult sized portion or if this is the did. general portion for children. I hope not because hope they would have did. a sugar rush. But what I could have done without was the whipped cream mm -hmm. so much and more ice cream. But otherwise, very good. Could not finish it, but really enjoyed it. Yeah, and then I had the, it was the, the cafe mocha bar. Mocha That's bar. the words. Basically a couple of flavors of mousse. The base was kind of a sponge cake with some crunchy stuff in it for some texture. I really enjoyed it overall. You have to be into moussey desserts, mm -hmm. but the, the texture on the bottom layer really made it worthwhile. Good chocolate flavor, good coffee flavor. I, I definitely loved. Yeah, good. That's it. Speaking of love, I'm going to love going to sleep and watching Love Boat. Same. Yes. <laughs> Tomorrow, more sea day. Yeah. Stay here, tuned. Here it comes. Good night. Good night. Good morning. It is time for some breakfast. Breakfast has been acquired and we found a nice little seat over here with a plug to knock out some editing. Which is right over here in the peaceful little corner of vines. Ooh, they're getting ready to do a chocolate egg demonstration out here. We have grabbed some water. Hey, we've got Hawaii water. Welcome to the buffet. It is lunchtime. Ooh, this back section has a miniature salad bar. We saw pizza, bread, meats, and cheese. Uh, I see sweet chili chicken. A bunch of randomness back here, but I like it. We've got a nice little fruit selection down here. Pork belly, sauteed pumpkin, corn. Something else happening here. Stir fries, beef bulgogi, rice. Oh, we got some sort of pizzas there. Some soups, breads. Oh, we got a random assortment. There was a lot of like stir fries and chop sueys and things which looked interesting. We've also brought our pop choir paperwork because that is coming up soon. And now pop choir. <laughs> Now there was some debate yesterday because they've scheduled these pop choir rehearsals for 2 p.m. which conflicts with hula class also at 2 p.m. and some of the pop choir people were involved in hula so there was discussion of whether they were going to be able to change this time. We never heard anything so we're just going to hang out for 2 o'clock and see what happens. Yeah. 
Well, dinner tonight will be at the Crown Grill. Ooh. Oh, table by the window. Well, let's peek down the menu. Yeah, we had originally made reservations for six o'clock and we were sitting down at the, uh, the thing down there. Checked my app and it said 510. So I said, oh my gosh, let's get up there. Oh, hang on, let me flip this page. There's what's underneath. Yeah, they said, sorry about that, but we changed you to 510. I'm, I'm glad I checked my app. <laughs> There's the dessert selection on the little flapper that I flipped over. Nice. And on the back of that flapper, they've got all your salt choices. Oh, Hawaiian black salt. They started us off with this bread, which looks like it's filled with cheesy, gooey yumminess. There is our view officially, cruising right along. Later is the marriage match game show. We've got a love song trivia before that. All I need you to do is write down the title of the song. And if you feel like singing along, don't hesitate, don't be shy. As long as you don't give away the answer, feel free to sing along. Well, we're done with the trivia. Folks are lining up to toss their hat in the ring to join the marriage match game show. He's going to be asking some very interesting questions. We are not responsible for the answers that are going to come out out of their mouth. Be careful, okay? Thank you so much, everybody. Give it up for Nick. Give it up for Lucy. Give it up for your production crew and the bar staff. One last time, all your couples, everybody. Have a good night. Next up in here is a pop up music trivia. No papers required, just random song guessing. So we'll see. The name of the song and the name of the band. We have got our patter on the bed. We are losing another hour tonight. That's right. And another bag of fresh undies. Gotta love that laundry. Good, Good night. night. Now we are back in the cabin after a productive evening of game shows and trivias mm -hmm. and fangs. It's really fun, actually. Marriage match is always a fun oh, game. Yeah. We don't always get to go to it. We obviously don't record it for reasons. True. You know, you don't know who's on stage, what position they hold in like a company, and you don't want to embarrass somebody. So. That's what they always say. Don't get them in trouble. Right. It could be teachers, lawyers, doctors <laughs> exactly. up there. Exactly. And they're on vacation having fun. But it yeah. was very good, and I highly recommend that you guys go check it out yourselves. It's always different with different couples. Yeah. This one was PG-16, but it was like the question and answer, so it was tamer yeah. than I think like the couple game that they play, which is the physical challenge game, which we missed. Definitely. Yeah, let's talk about dinner. Okay. Crown Grill. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> All right, let me get my pictures ready. Okay. There is that bread. Y'all, we can't say too much about that bread. It was good and full of mozzarella cheese and garlicky butter. Yum, yum. Yeah, okay, let's jump to something else because I don't want to think about that bread anymore. <laughs> uh, there is your, is that scallops? It was scallops with, is it a bur blanc sauce maybe? I should have read the menu caviar better. caviar and fennel. It was really, really tasty. I've never had it before. I think you get like three scallops. If you like caviar, it's good. Mm. Yep. Fancy. <laughs> I had the lobster cake. Now this is what I had last time I went to Crown Grill. Funny thing is I didn't look at my pictures until after. Like I went back and I was like, what did I get last time? Lobster cake. <laughs> it was like really, really meat forward, which is kind of what I like in a meat cake. Well, you yeah. know what I mean? So it good overall. The sauces were good. I kind of like everything about this. Mm -hmm. You had a very nice looking salad. Yep, it was a goat cheese tomato salad with kind of like a pesto dressing. So it was sort of like a caprese mm. salad, but with goat cheese instead of mozzarella. This was a huge portion and super delicious. I had what was basically French onion soup with blue cheese snuck into it. And you know, anything with blue cheese. I also got this last time. Um, <laughs> really good. It was actually kind of subtle on the blue cheese front, but a couple of bites had a nice punch punch. and mm, Flavors overall real good on that one. 
there is. Well, this is your steak and your potato before it was dressed. Right. So filet mignon, it was eight ounces, and then I got a loaded baked potato, which will be loaded in a minute. That's true. Um, very good. I can never eat <laughs> the full eight ounce <laughs> filet mignon, so I usually go for the six, but that's not an option. But this was perfectly medium, which is what I asked for. And then you could choose salt, and I picked like the pink Himalayan salt on the mm. side. It added a lot to it. It was really good. Yeah, I don't think I took a picture of your loaded potato, but here's oh. a picture of the loadings that they brought to be used on it. There they are. Good enough, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Um, and then for some reason I went right into sides. So mm -hmm. there's some asparagus, there's some mushrooms, and there's some creamed spinach. The asparagus were good and the mushrooms were good. I didn't You're try not, the creamed spinach. I'm, I'm not, not a big fan of that. super into it either, but I had to try it. I mean, it was good. I'd rather just have a vegetable for the sake of being a vegetable. Right. They were all tasty. There is my giant steak, finally. Um, that was the ribeye. Mm -hmm. mm. Y'all, it has marbling, it has flavor, it has mmm, and that's all I know about that ribeye. I also got the, they were called crushed potatoes with bone marrow and chives. I tasted a little bit of the bone marrow flavor. It made it nice and rich. You know, if you've ever had the bone marrow, it's a good way to do a potato. Yeah. Gosh, there's some pictures of salt. I won't put that on the screen. That was just a reminder to talk about salt. <laughs> I had the Hawaiian black sea salt, by the way, or it's black okay. something salt. Okay. Dessert. Yeah, something. You had a, like a rhubarb. Apple rhubarb. That's it cobbler with uh, vanilla ice cream and like a blueberry drizzle. This was good. Um, I've had it before. I think it was better the last time I had it. Mm. I don't know. Something about it was just kind of a miss. Like the flavors didn't really go as well for some reason this time. But I like the ice cream. Now I asked, I had a lot of stuff I wanted on the dessert menu. I asked the server for the recommendation and he came up with this, which was basically the salted caramel creme brulee cheesecake. Now, you know I don't usually go for a creme brulee, though I do enjoy it. I don't usually go for a cheesecake, though I do enjoy it. And it was very good. He said it's going to be the best dessert you've ever had or something or another. On Princess. On this, on here. <laughs> yeah. It was good. But if you're into cheesecake and creme brulee, get it. You'll love it. It had that little honeycomb candy on the top that when you chew it, it sticks your teeth together. Very fun. Don't get it if you have dentures. That's true. <laughs> uh, and that's it. So, I bet it was a good dessert. Just, I would get something else next time. Yeah. That's just my personal taste. It was an amazing day overall. Yeah, we're going to bed. Love boat. More you tomorrow. know how it goes. <laughs> Come back then. Good night. Bye. Good morning from beautiful International Cafe. We have come set up here at Vines to knock out a little more work this morning. Oh, they're having a fruit and veggie carving demo. The fruits and veggies that we're carving that we have in the, uh, the buffet, they are responsible of doing that here. Oh, they're making creatures up there. Radish for the eyes. They have made flowers, fish, all sorts of stuff. They're getting ready to make a big conga line and have everybody go by the table to take pictures so we may sneak over there. Yeah, it looks like we got from right to left, I'll call it a bird, a pig, where the watermelon is cute. I think that's a squirrel, some flowers. Oh, and the little fish on the end. Now it looks like they're heading into officers versus guests beanbag challenge. And the fish might be my favorite. All right. One more peek. So we have popped back to the cabin for some peace and quiet. Dee has gone to work out actually. Well, you see she melted back there on the bed, changed into her workout gear. I'm still editing away. But uh, we noticed that the event in the atrium was is billed as officers versus guests, but they were doing guests versus guests. I guess, uh, and we've noticed that the uh, like there were no handshakes at the uh, party with the officers. They're not really letting the officers out and about to mingle. These longer cruises, um, you gotta watch out sometimes. They've been doing some extra cleaning. We notice, especially in the casino, when you get up from a machine, wipe, wipe, wipe. So they're being more vigilant, shall we say, keeping things in order just to make sure nothing goof goof. So, you know, long cruise, be careful, good on you, keep it safe. All that good stuff. We've done a quick room service lunch and then we're gonna fling out to some afternoon activities. Chicken salad sandwiches, fruit cups. Apparently it comes with chips. Yeah. You that's never an know what it's gonna come with. <laughs> <laughs> We've broken free of the cabin. <laughs> 
down here in the atrium, they've set up a ton of tables because they're getting ready to have an event called the Family Fun Fair for a couple of hours. And we got string music for right now. Here comes a bunch of signage, supplies. Oh, we're starting off with a story time from Fernando. I think this is more of a series of fun facts about animals than it is a story, but they brought in Stanley the Bear for an appearance, so that makes everything better. Oh, maybe story time hasn't happened yet. I want to go hug him. I do too. There's too many people. Oh, the tables are open. We are sitting over here by a keychain and bracelet table, which has been consumed by the adults, but hey, it says family fun fair, not kids fun fair. Let's see if we can make the rounds. So this is like a custom button and pin table over here. They got little machines to stamp them down. Stanley is out there. I see they're having a sculpture contest at one of the tables. Oh, a table full of games. Well, there's a table I can handle. The do absolutely nothing table. Yes. We are going to go ahead and wander forward now on deck seven. They had glitter tattoos, all kinds of things. Coming up next in the Princess Theater is the voice of the ocean. Thank you. There you go. Oh, we got voting devices as soon as we come in. Oh, doors have opened 30 minutes prior, and we are ready to rock and roll. to narrow it down to one singer that's going to move into the actual voting round. In a few moments, we'll reveal the screen to show our finalists and their corresponding button, either 1, A, 2, B, or 3, C. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is, with 55.55% votes, Joe! super convenient exit we've chosen from the theater because we're planning dinner in the wheelhouse. I wanted to inform you that there have been several reported cases of gastro illness. The cause is still under investigation and you may notice some additional precaution around the ship. Thank you for all your attention and on behalf of the Emerald Princess we remain as always at your service. Well, there is the announcement that we kind of knew was coming. Anyway, we've come out of the wheelhouse now to wash our hands so that we can now return and go to dinner, which of course, the wheelhouse is home to the Salty Dog Gastropub. So now we will come over and join the Salty Dog world. <laughs> Well, here is the actual menu of the food on the right and some drinks on the left. Everything is a la carte here. And they do have a little dessert menu as well as a cute little dog mascot down here. They've started us off with what they call their dip sticks. Sticks that can be dipped in beer cheese. So these are complimentary with the ordering of an entree. Oh, we can hear tunes coming in. Everything here is giantly stacked. Our idea is going with a fried chicken sandwich and the Parmesan truffle fries. Oh, there's a little bit of ketchup to go with it. I decided to go for sweet potato fries and this is the SDG burger. You see I've got the menu over here because I have to read what's on it. I believe it was formerly known as the Ernesto burger. It has, well it's ribeye and short rib first of all, pork belly, gruyere, kimchi, beer battered jalapeno, charred onion aioli on a brioche bun. Yep, there we go. I'm a believer. Let's just peek in here. Oh, what is happening? That is the jalapenos. Okay, kimchi I see, 
Yeah, you know, this is an adventure. Ooh, I'm under a spotlight. Y'all, this burger is messy, but it's good. Them jalapenos are spicy. Ooh, I'm gonna eat it now. Try not to make a mess. Saxophone tunes on the piazza. Well, one other random observation, all of the bathroom doors have been propped open so you don't have to touch the handles. I'm not mad at that. Now, sadly, there is zero soap in this dispenser, so we're gonna have to figure that out. It's the only sink in this bathroom. Yeah, there's a whole series of things that we kind of noticed today. This morning at breakfast at International Cafe, they usually have the sugars and splendors and things where you can reach and get them yourselves. They had turned that around so that they were service, uh, you know, assisted service only. We've also heard, we haven't been up to the buffet, but they have started assisted service at the buffet where it has been self-serve all week. So apparently today was the breaking point for something. So we've gone into be careful mode, washy washy, when you have soap. <laughs> well, we've come into the Explorer's Lounge now. They've got some trivia coming up, but they are set up for Liar's Club later this evening. And we're gonna spin you our definitions, and one of us is telling the truth. Two of us, not so much. What is the word uh, Baldersnatch mean? All right, looks like we got all votes in. Let's look at the score. It is time to head to the theater for the mighty Quinn. A one-man circus. All right, I'm ready for it. Oh! Uh, sir, is it okay if I put a bit of weight on you? Okay, perfect. Don't move. Run, 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 Nice throw. Right. Oh. <laughs> that was the funniest thing that's ever happened. <laughs> you hit me square in the face. <laughs> but like, oh. Welcome to nighttime in the outside. We are gonna come over here to coffee and cones and slice. So we didn't have dessert yet. We are back up here to examine this menu. Well, we have decided to split a godfather, which was eventually chocolate brownie. What's a little loud up here? Vanilla gelato, sprinkles, a tool, a lollipop. I, I don't know what's going on, but. Anyway, these are included in our plus package, so hey! Welcome to Skywalker's Nightclub! That is a rather tiny dance floor, but we are here to enjoy some classic rock! Classic rock, y'all. Should I be offended? STP. All right, back to the old people music. Okay, I like the Eagles. <laughs> y'all, they are playing a Foo Fighters song from 2005 in classic rock, and I don't know if I should be offended by that or not. Hold on now. Hold up. Oh, this could be a bridge between classic rock and modern music. Rasputin, 70s song, now popular on TikTok. Oh, we're still on that classic rock. <laughs> oh, we just got the announcement. We're changing firmly to the 80s and some line dances. Oh, oh Dancing with D is in it. Oh, they busted out some group line dance that everybody knows that I um don't know. Y'all it's dangerous up there. If you don't know what you're doing, you will get run over. They are slapping and clapping and flapping. All right, Dean, we gotta sit on the sideline and learn this one. Ooh, that's a Kodoro. All right, we're gonna dance right here. We're in safe. 
Now they're playing all the kids' music. Y'all bring me back the Eagles, okay? I miss the Eagles. Help me out, okay? Okay, they went straight from that song into this Barbara Streisand number. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on up here. So after this one, they should play the song Barbara Streisand. All right, let's see what comes up next. That was um, that was kind of a party killer. Oh, people appreciated it. All right, where are we going next, DJ? Crank it up. Oh, that is, oh gosh, it's back to y'all. Okay, let's go slow dance, bye. Yeah, under 18, technically not a lot. Oh, they're kicking so out the teenagers. Those are just the company rules. They've shut the party down it's until like they can chase <laughs> all the teenagers out. Well, I'm over 18. <laughs> yeah. Man, you think all that classic rock from the 70s would have scared those teenagers away, but I guess not. <laughs> Okay, they got the approval to play music again. So let's dance, everybody. Faith Hill. Dee's trying to get all her steps in by midnight, so we're double timing this Faith Hill song, okay? 11.55, oh you guys. Oh my gosh, the pressure's on. Ooh, I'm committed. Yeah, give us some tempo. Oh, this is like a Zumba song. Okay, you got this, you got this. Oh, it's midnight, and now they turn on the fast tunes. Keeping the Latin tunes coming. We are grabbing some Hawaii water and moving onward. Pitter patter, pitter patter. Good night. Can I, you can find us in the club. What the heck have we been doing today? I don't know, but I already have 2,900 steps for today. See, yeah. You didn't quite hit the midnight goal, it's but right. I definitely exceeded it. You know, I blame them teenagers for you not hitting your goal. Yeah, I know. They had to stop the music. Was like, what the heck? Uh, they but stopped it was the party fun. for like, like, yeah. The kids that are in there are lovely, you know, and young adults. That's true. Yeah. Oh, y'all youngins. There's oh, no fights youngins. breaking out or anything crazy. That's, good. that's true. I just hit the TV. Yeah, we're going to have a fight right here in the room <laughs> with the TV nonetheless. And then we can't watch Love Boat. Oh, no. All right, let's talk about our night. Okay, so what else do we have to talk about besides dinner? So we saw the Mighty Quinn. That's true. Show, which juggle, was juggle. Really good. I don't think we've seen him before. He was super mm. funny. Um, did a lot of tricks. The unicycle. The people who he brought up on stage are really funny as well. Yeah. That always helps. The unicycle was a lot of build up, but it, it was comedic. Is. Yeah, but it was yeah. really funny. Um, we went to we had Explorers Lounge for a while. Some trivia and mm. the Liars Club, which we had to dip out of early, but we've seen yeah. that several times. Always true. a good time. And then we had the club. Yeah. yeah. So dinner, we don't really have to dwell on dinner. You had a fried chicken sandwich. How was it? It was good. Spicy mayo, tomato, onion. You're supposed to have kale, but it had like iceberg lettuce. But I'm not going to fall dare over that. that. It was really tasty and good. It was like $7, so I think it was worth oh, yeah. the amount. And you know, you didn't have to go sit in the dining room and wait for dinner. So it was a nice fast option for something different. Right. And the truffle fries were amazing. Mm -hmm. And I had the SDG, AKA Ernesto burger, which good golly, the stuff on that. Them jalapenos, they were spicy. The kimchi, it was tang spicy. I mean, there was a lot of flavor going on, but yeah. I loved it. Short rib too, right? Yeah, or there was pork belly instead of bacon. Oh, pork, yeah, pork, I think there was yeah. short rib in the patty. There was a lot. Yeah. Um, and side note, the menu, at least on the app, uh, says that the SDG or Ernesto burger does come with fries. That is not true. Incorrect. We asked. You order your fries separately. They're like two dollars. Yeah. The paper After menu. This video. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah, the paper menu did not say it came with fries, and that is basically mm -hmm. the law of the land. So seven dollars per sandwich, two dollars per fries. Didn't get a dessert there because we yeah. got a premium dessert. Yeah, so we have Princess Plus, and the new plan includes two per person per day. Who you, needs it? We don't personally need that, so we shared one. It's I plenty. Just, I just yeah. made everybody who eats two desserts a day no, no. Feel real bad. <laughs> We're trying not to do that. Actually, we've never done that. <laughs> y'all do, y'all do you. If you it's love really them two good. desserts, eat them because they were good. But if you don't have Princess Plus, as of this video, it's twelve dollars for that ice cream dish we showed you. There's like yeah. five or six different choices. Oh, they're crazy. Some of them have so many little yeah. plippy plops and plop plops out the top. But we kind of wanted to show it and then like have a late night snack. It was yeah. like a date night. I really enjoyed our night. We were all a lot of cute like little datey <laughs> things. We did. I don't know. Guess what? We're going to end the night with Love Boat and falling on these pillows because we're tired. <laughs> I am so hot. <laughs> See you day tomorrow. Yeah. See you then. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye.